Hey homo sapiens and marbites, welcome back to the channel. I am Rogue Marby Scott and we're going to dive straight into the video tutorial. And as you can see, I've started out by sketching out my mask using the flash palette. However, I'm only using the flash palette in this part. So I'm just blending it in, making sure that my line is where I need it to be before I go in with some face paints. Now, today's look is inspired by Death and black obviously because black is kind of like a morning color in Japanese culture as it is in most cultures anyway we're going to go in with some face paints now and we're going to create this lovely mask base so in terms of inspiration for this look I was very much inspired by the priestess look that I did for my uh, Four Horsemen of the Marbasian Apocalypse playlist which I will leave in the cards and in the description box and I was also inspired by Darth Maul from the Phantom Menace from the Star Wars um, films so yeah that's pretty much of my inspiration for this look so going on with the Japanese culture and superstitions and everything I'm creating three lines black lines on my neck now obviously my face is part one and then the three lines that I'm going to be creating add two three and four and four is actually an unlucky number in Japanese culture because it signifies and means death well four itch ni san she she sounds like death anyway so going on to highlighting my face I'm going to make sure I'm using a gray not a white because the gray will blend better than the white would and then I'm going to blend that in using the same black side of the sponge and then continue to highlight the rest of my face with that same gray So initially I wasn't going to do a black geisha just because I thought well I'm doing the rainbow geishas of Marbasian there is no black in the you know rainbow but then black is signifying death and black also absorbs all the colors of the spectrum so why not incorporate that into my geisha looks so therefore I am doing this today that that was kind of my inspiration as well as you know the other ones that I've just spoke of anyway going on to some history now I decided I wanted to put a yin yang into this look and if you know anything about Japanese culture and Chinese culture there was war once upon a time and obviously Japan became its own independent country anyway so I decided that this geisha was once Chinese and converted to be in Japanese in some sort of weird fashion if that sounds controversial I'm not even too sure if it does but yeah th that's kind of like the history that I'm doing this was once a Chinese person and they are now Japanese that's why I'm going so that's why I'm creating a yin yang on to my eye as you saw I used eyeliner the same eyeliner I'm just doing on my eyes now and I'm just blending it in I could have used a pomade at the time or a paint but I felt like the eyeliner would have been a bit more stark and I wouldn't have to do too much blending because of the black bleeding into it because I am using water-based colors on my face from Snazaroo so as you can see I'm just cleaning up some of those lines and then I am going to put some eyeshadow onto my eyes just to make the white a little bit more opaque as you can see here now I'm just sketching out the black part of the yin yang and then I'm going to continue on you know sprucing up this look a little bit more
so going on to highlighter I'm now using a grey toned highlighter first to do my cheeks and then I am going to move on to two more colours um, I chose to put some highlighter on this look because I wanted this look to be really pretty to the eye but also kind of dangerous looking so like I just feel like sometimes when we talk about death there's something alluring about death but obviously we don't want to die so I just want I kind of wanted this look to be like well if you saw this geisha you, you you're drawn to her or him however you're a bit scared at the same time because you're scared that mother nature is going to take its course and snap your life away anyway moving on I've just used some blue highlighter onto my face just placing that directly on top and underneath that gray and then I am going to go in with a black highlighter which I think I've already just done but anyway I'm going to go in and blend those in with the uh, damp sponge and the existing face paints on my face because I don't want it to be too stark I just want it to be like ooh, uh. moving on to my nose now because it's all about the nose highlighter you know that <laughs> So moving on to my red trim, I'm now using a grease paint as well as I'm mixing that grease paint with some face paints. I don't know why I decided to do that, but I did anyway. And then I'm just going to blend that in and obviously clean up those spots that I've already created on my face from using a really distorted brush. But anyway, we're going to do the same on my neckline and then we're going to place some red stripes on my lip we're creating a trinity of stripes on my lip which is also going to leave us with four black stripes you see what I'm doing for death So we're just coming up to the closing of this video and I'm placing a rose that I found in the house like I don't even remember where I got this but I'm probably sure I got it with one of my living dead doll orders anyway using that as my headpiece and then I'm going to go on and do some highlighter all over my body well neck and shoulders practically it if I haven't said it already I'm going to say it now don't forget to comment like and subscribe to planet Marbasia So homo sapiens and marbites, that's how I got the look and I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Clearly something different in the editing that I've never done really before. No, never done before where I've just gone straight into the um, makeup look and not done like an intro to me doing the makeup look. Mostly because, well guess what, I forgot to record that on the day. So um... I'm completely happy with how I've been doing. I am completely happy with this series and I just hope some of you guys or all of you guys are inspired and um, have paid attention to what I've been doing for the Geisha series and you know looking at climate climate <laughs> climate change as important as I do. Um, that's all I can say right now. I'm pretty hanging and I'm drinking at the same time. But I hope you do continue to watch the series and I hope you, you know, follow, like and subscribe to this channel and obviously comment down below and tell me what you think about this last look, the black geisha look. I pretty much have explained what I was envisioning for this look 
in the video in the tutorial so I'm not going to be talking about that much now I can't wait for some pastels now or some vibrant colors for pride bye Broke Mobby's